you don't have to watch this as part of your homework, but if you like a preview um, and some help, because these can be difficult to see, um, go ahead and watch the next few minutes to help you out. All right, this time I'm going to substitute. I'm just going to create any variable there and say y equals 1 half of x or x over 2. And I'm going to rewrite this as 3 times the tangent of y plus 3 equals 0, which will be the tangent of y equals negative 1. Well, I'll write the two solutions for y. Um, remember the tangent. Actually, there's one way I can write it to make it simpler. The tangent of y produces a negative result in the second and the fourth quadrant. Um, and we know that's at this side ratio here, 3 pi over 4, and over here at 7 pi over 4. But since they're a nice, even pi apart, we can write the whole thing in one solution. We can say y equals 3 pi over 4 plus pi k, where k is an integer. Now, we want to solve for x, though. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 So I, because I have y. So I have x equals 2 times our answer of y that already exists over here. And my pen just ran out of ink. Oh, no, it didn't. Sorry. Um, and so I'm going to take this equation and say that x equals 2 times it. And so I get x equals um, 2 times 3 is 6 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k, where k is an integer. And we can rewrite that as x equals 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi k. Now, it wants um, the answers in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So I can rewrite that as x equals our first one is 3 pi over 2. Well, if I add 2 pi to that, I'm going to be outside of the bound of 2 pi or outside that first rotation of the unit circle. So that's actually our only answer there.